KFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN. We reached the closing bell on a record territory day. We got the S&Ps closing out the session up 45 points. We almost hit the tick high, man. Tick high was 52.89. We're sitting at 52.86 right now. That's a positive net gain of 8 tenths percent in the S&Ps. NASDAQ 100, you're up 202 points in the futures, up by 1.1 percent. The Dow futures right near 40,000. Now, cash Dow, you're sitting at about 39,500. Nonetheless, futures 39,938 right now. And you got the Russell up by 39 points, almost a 2% increase. You were up more than 2% at one point. You pull back a little bit into the closing bell. Bitcoin up by about 1300 bucks. You're sitting at 66,000. 66, Crude off a of buck 27 at 8147. Gold, one of the stories of the day on dollar weakness. Gold strength, gold up $27, one and a quarter percent to the upside, 21.8670. We jumped to notes and bonds, 10 year up by seven ticks. We're talking about a 10 year yield of about 4.28%, 4.28% on the 10 year. You jump over to the dollar index, 103.41. You talk about a pullback, man, from 104 and change early in the day. There's your 2 p.m. Eastern Time announcement, and there is the press conference as you got the dollar diving low to 103.41 on the dollar. You jump over to the VIX as this market, we almost got a 12 handle. Look at that, 1301 on the VIX. So much for higher highs and higher lows. That might be the writing on the wall, man. Look at that decisive break of that trend line we've been in uh, since December 13th, right? We've seen higher highs, higher lows. That's just correlating the higher lows we've had, and boom. The VIX breaks right through that level. We're sitting at 1301. You almost got a 12 handle on the VIX. The story out there, the dot plots say the same for 2024. The rate stays the same, five and a quarter to 5.5%. But you go forward, and rates might be higher for longer as we are dealing with a new environment, folks, in this economy. Uh, and that's the story. The benchmark rate going up to 2.6%. The market liking the idea that they didn't take any rate cuts out this year. As you lift higher in the equities, maybe they will next year. But the market can wait that out. The market looking uh, for what's coming down the line in the next three or six months. And according to the Fed, they're going to cut by the end of the year. And the dot plots still say three. But keep in mind... Nine of the 19 members actually are looking for under three cuts. So there's some room for two there. We'll see where the data goes. Folks, thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Join me tomorrow, 9 o'clock in the morning, for another day of market action. I'll see you tomorrow, folks. Have a great night.